This morning, I am especially excited to show you my latest story in my series, Taste of Home, which aims to highlight the many cultures and cuisines right here in Northeast Ohio. You may not know this about me, but I am half Filipina. My mom was born and raised in the Philippines. She came to the States in the 90s. A word you might hear to describe Filipino people or things relating to the Philippines is Pinoy. So when I heard about a Filipino pop-up feast, I knew I had to go and take you all along with me. In Tagalog, that means, did you eat yet? Words you are sure to hear in any Filipino household. So you better show up hungry. We make sure that everybody's full and fed and you know, in our culture, that's something that's very heartwarming for us. An important lesson instilled in Melvin Reyes from a young age. In 1986, his parents came to the U.S. from the Philippines. He was born in Cleveland and raised by Filipino family members, titos and titas, who taught him the importance of food. I think it's like a love language for Filipinos. A language influenced by the country's history and by the people who went there for commerce or conquest. The Philippines were colonized by many people, so it's a huge mix of like Chinese, Spanish, even American food. From pork to seafood, soups and stews, noodles and rice, the cuisine of the nation is as vast and varied as its more than 7,000 islands. And Melvin, a player in the food industry, has been on a mission to get Filipino food onto more menus and into more mouths. I feel like if you're not in the culture, maybe you aren't super familiar with the dishes. Sure. I'm trying to actually gather chefs from around the nation and figure out how can we actually bring Filipino culture to the forefront. I mean, a lot of people are searching it out now. We're trying to elevate the and help bring awareness to the Filipino community. This winter, Melvin, his brother, and cousins saw sushi trays taking off in the Philippines. So they started a business here called Sushi Bake CLE. The concept evolved to include a pop-up Filipino feast held at Porco in March. It's like, hey, why don't we share our love for food with others? And so that's how this whole idea came about. And then it evolved into uh, this combined event. We lay the banana leaves out on the table and then we'll put the rice all down the middle and then we'll put the entrees all over the side. And so usually Gamayan means to eat with your hands. Instead of eating together at a communal table, guests have individual plates due to the pandemic. But the food still packs a punch. Chicken adobo is the staple. We also did a lechon kowale, which is crispy pork belly, and then the staple lumpia shanghai. Plus grilled eggplant, bok choy, ube butter mochi, and garlic butter shrimp. So we already prepped some garlic butter. We put it into the wok, and then we start getting it sizzling here. And then we we're going to take the shrimp and pretty much fry it up and baste it in there. Plated up and ready to go. I couldn't resist starting with one of my favorite foods, lumpia, pork-filled egg rolls. And to say yummy or very yummy in Tagalog, the language in the Philippines, it's masara or sara. So enjoy. Masara. <laughs> A meal that's masara and reminds me and so many other Pinoys of home. We have that huge love for Filipino food, and so during the weekends we would get together and cook up a huge feast, and now we're doing it for everybody else. And good news with the success of that pop-up event, Melvin was asked to make Filipino bar food at Porco on Friday and Saturday nights now, so you can try some of the food for yourself. Just watching that, making me hungry all over again. Right, looks so good. Now you are a chef in the kitchen, right? You do a lot I of try. cooking at home. I try. How did this compare to stuff you made? And I mean, was it good? Was it stuff you've never tried? Oh my gosh, or? so good. These are admittedly all my favorites. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I feel like my, my stomach yeah. and salivating. Trust yeah. me. Just watching. I get that during severe weather. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway. Um, but everything really did taste so authentic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everyone's recipes are slightly different because this really is just good, you know, home cooking. Everyone's recipes are different. Everyone does it slightly, you know, sure. their own flavors. But it, it, everything was incredible. It really did remind me of being in the kitchen when I was little with my mom. And after school, she'd make me lumpia spring rolls for snacks or... Awesome. You know, things like that. So, so, so good. I ate way too much. <laughs> but I hope that everyone gets to try Filipino right. food. And I hope it spreads throughout Cleveland as right. well and more understanding of it, too. So, right. it looks delicious. So, yeah. thanks Thank for bringing you. us that story. Thanks for watching. Yeah.